And today in the mail, I got Mac OS X Snow Leopard. And today, since I just got it like two minutes ago, I'm going to upgrade my Mac Mini to Snow Leopard. It is currently running Leopard 10.5.8. Here is the CD. We'll just go ahead and get right into it. So, I got this for 10 bucks. Um, through the Apple Up to Date program, because I bought my Mac Mini before June something 2009, well after June, June whatever. Um, yeah, normally it costs 30 bucks for Leopard users, and for Tiger or before, uh, I think they recommend you just get the box set. I don't know how much it is. Leave a comment if you know. So, as you can see, this little window here came up. Mac OS X install DVD. I'm going to just hit install Mac OS X. It's loading. Hit. Let me see this. Oops. I'll hit continue. Hit agree. Click on my hard drive. Install. Wait, 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 wait. Can't smile. Um. Richer support. I will do it like that. Uh, additional fonts, yes. Um. Do I want to translations? Not really, but I guess I'll keep them. Or is that a? I will definitely be keeping that. And QuickTime 7. Okay. Now I'm ready to install, and I'll hit install. Oops, type in my password. And there we go, it's installing. Time remaining about 45 minutes, so I'll pause the video, and next time that it needs me, I will unpause it, and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I'll see you in a minute. Hey, we're back, and um, don't know if you can see it, but it says time remaining less than a minute. So it didn't take too long, it took about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, just like it said it would. And so, as it's just finishing up here, I'm going to read through some of the stuff in the Mac OS X Snow Leopard installation features and refinements, little handout thing that they have with it. Um, so we'll start on the front, it tells you how to install it, didn't really need that. Um, tells you the features, the new features of Expose in the dock. Safari 4, QuickTime X. Also, while you're installing, you can choose to keep QuickTime 7, which is what I did. Um, Microsoft Exchange support, universal access, including Braille. And look at Braille too. There it is, Braille. Um, Refinements with Finder and with Stacks, Printer Driver Printer Driver updates, and Easy PDF Text Selection. Text Selection. Can't talk today. Anyway, you might be wondering what was the package like. This was the package. This is just a little thing that it comes in. Um, not very exciting. It has bubble wrap on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. And it came with the CD, not for resale. And that's that was it. So the CD isn't spinning anymore, so that probably means it's almost done. Hopefully. Um yeah. You can see that they updated the background. Can't really see it all that great right now, but they updated it. I was at the Apple Store Saturday. Um that would have been the 30th. Yeah, really. No. That would have been the 29th. Yeah, the 29th. Um, installation is complete. Anyway, I was there and I got to play around with them. And so, I got to see the new background. Looks really neat. Um, hopefully, this speeds up my Mac menu because it's been acting really slow. There's the new background. Um, I'll show you it better when it comes back up. It's restarting right now. Waiting, waiting. Um, 
Um, yeah. Also, while I was at the Apple Store, I decided, for no real reason, to get an Apple remote. Yay! So now I can, like, put this over there at the door. And when I walk in from school, since my Mac Mini will be in sleep mode, most likely, because I have to set to turn on at noon every day, every weekday, in the car, um, I'll be able to just, like, hit menu and wake it up. I don't know. You can adjust the volume. You can get it right here. You can adjust the volume with it. You can go into um, front row. You can use Hulu Desktop. So, yeah. Not all that exciting, but it looks cool. So we're waiting for it to start up now. It's spinning. got done spinning. Bye bye Apple and it might play. Yeah, here it comes. I'll turn it up for you. Actually I'll bring this down for you. Okay, so you can see it's still spinning. Still. And apparently it has the infrared up, because if I take the Apple remote and shoot the um, volume down button, you can see that the volume goes down. Shoot it back up and it goes up. So it looks like we're in. It apparently didn't play the startup animation, which sort of sucks. But yeah, it's loading up everything now. Tweety. Setup assistant. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, there you have it. There is Snow Leopard. Um, not much else to say. It looks like it's gonna be pretty neat. Don't tell me I'm gonna have... Oh, new mail. Okay. Done. That was loud. Okay, um, let's go to About This Mac. Mac OS 10 version 10.6, 2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, 1 gigabyte of memory. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.